Yeah, what's going on guys? Let's get started here with this episode. Before we get started though, uh, do me a quick sal and hit that like button. It really helps the channel and really helps the series. And it takes like one second. Um, for this episode here, we are just going to be quick simming some games, going over the uh, status of the league, because we gotta get the show on the road a little bit more here. So uh, we are actually going to sim up to the All-Star game. Well actually, with the Rising Star Challenge, um, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna do that full game or not, maybe. It might be kind of fun to see like D'Angelo Russell and all those guys, so I might actually do that game for next episode. Um, of course, then we'll do the three-point contest, dunk contest, see what that's all about, and the All-Star game. So, you know, the next few episodes will probably be dedicated towards the All-Star weekend. Um, but, yo, we also got the trade deadline coming up, but that's for, like, a future episode. That's, that's future us problems, right? Like, we're not going to worry about that right now. And uh, so let's just get ahead and uh, start simming some games. Like I said, hopefully by the All-Star break and hopefully by the time these games are over with, Anthony Davis will be uh, better and hopefully be able to participate in the All-Star game. I really hope so. Even Rudy Gay, I think he could potentially make it, maybe. We'll see. So let's go ahead and just uh, simulate through date. Probably going to take a second. A lot of loading streams, all that boring stuff. But hopefully we get some Ws out there. I mean, that's what it's all about, man. They get them Ws. So, yo, yeah, DeMarcus Cousins, we know, we know, man. We See, I hate... I'll judge you. You're going to get you. You're going to get fired, man, okay? I, I'm so sick of being asked or being told rhetorical stuff. I know DeMarcus Cousins is the best center. Now, you're probably just trying to do your job, and I just don't like loading screens, so, you know, that could be part of it, too. But at the end of the day, man, just leave me alone. Leave me alone. All right, what we got here? Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's some good news here. Hopefully, it's telling us that, all right, Jody Meeks is healed, so he had a high ankle sprain. Um, so, we can actually put him back in the rotation here, which is going to actually make things interesting. So, I'll just, I'll coach handle it for now, um, and then we'll adjust the rotation once our other guys are healthy, because it really should be Anthony Davis and Rudy Gay should be back before February uh, because Anthony Davis has been out for about a month already he, he was a one to two month injury so um, Rudy Gay had like less than two weeks left, left on his injury so we'd be fine there and how are we how satisfied are we with our team I'm um, satisfied like we could be doing we could be doing uh, better but you know guys say good things also I have another question for you guys how the hell how in God's name do you raise chemistry on here like I see the chemistry going up but is there, like, a way where I can spend, like, some VC and, and talk to coach and get, like, instant 100% chemistry or something like that? Because I know I can do that with morale. I know I can be, like, I can talk to a player and give him, like, a pitch or something like that, and they'll be fine. Son of a... All right, never mind about Jody Meeks. A dis dislocated right patella. I just hired a new damn trainer. All right, guys, so we got Jody Meeks back from a high ankle sprain, and he goes ahead and uh, gets his patella... Which I think is something in your knee, maybe <laughs> it could be a knee, a knee-related injury, which is not great. You know, I'm gonna Google it right now, guys. Just give me one sec. I'm gonna Google this. All right, what is the patella? What is? Can you hear me typing? Can you hear me typing right here? That's, that's me getting mad at the keyboard. Come here, boss. Damn, Jody Meeks, another injury to our team. What is the patella? The patella. It's the kneecap. Jody Meeks just busted up his damn kneecap, and our trainer, our trainer. This is what happened, okay? Our trainer is an idiot, and he's probably like, Alright, uh, Jody, so I want to make your kneecap stronger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this baseball bat, I'm going to smack you in the knee, and it's going to strengthen him. That's unbelievable, man. Wow. I'm scared. I'm scared for our team. I'm scared to death for our team going forward. I feel like everybody's just going to die. I feel like we're just done. Like... Like, people are going to just, just going to quit the team, and they're going to just ask to, you know, be released from the NBA because they're afraid of getting injured because our team is so stupid. Oh, see, Rudy Gay is back. This is great news. Great news for us. Rudy Gay is back. For now. For now with this team. Half coach handle for now. Like I said, once we get Anthony Davis back, we'll adjust the rotation completely. Because uh, I don't want to right now because every it feels like every other day we're getting a damn injury. I'm not going to keep on redoing it. So, you know, coach should put him back automatically in the starting lineup, which is fine. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. I can't believe that, man. Jody Meeks. You just Sometimes you just can't escape the injury bug. Uh, I'd like to help bring it to attention that I don't feel like we're pushing the guys hard enough at practice. Do nothing. Go do your damn job. Don't criticize my practice. We talk about practice. It was taking forever to send these games. My God. Like so much, like so much stuff. Going. Okay, okay. So by the way, shout out to the dude that told me about this here. This whole entire time I've been pushing circle. Apparently, you just get one of these things, and now that I'm actually looking at it, it makes sense. So, is there, is, does anybody know? Is there a way to go back and redo the ones that I didn't pick? 
Um, so here we go. What do we got here? Uh, this is actually kind of cool now. I like this better because it's like it's, it's more like a, I don't know, like it gives it like a different like aspect. So that's kind of cool. Plus one scouting, plus three price changing. Uh, players will sign for two percent less. I like that a lot. Player accrue five percent less progressive fatigue. That's great too. Negative team chemistry effects reduced by five percent. Improved scout by two percent. So I like player signing team chemistry and fatigue. Um, Money's not an issue, man. I got 99 problems. Money's not one of them. Uh, for progressive fatigue, that's something. I mean, like, you know, players get tired and they, you know, they go down with their stats. Also, negative team chemistry. I feel like we can improve on our chemistry, though. I feel like that's something we can do. Fatigue, you just can't escape it. Guys are going to get tired. So we're going to go with that for our upgrade. Once again, man, the, the dude that said that, I, w I, wish, I, rem I wish, wish I remembered your name, dude. Uh, but thank you so much. You know who you are. You know who you are. So we're good. We're good there. All right. What do we got here? Nick Young wants more minutes. I know he wants more minutes. I definitely know that. A lot of people are angry because I'm not really playing him that much. Uh, very hard to manage all these Eagles, man. Especially Swag P out there. I'm trying, man, but we got so much talent on this team. Not that you're not a talented player, but you're fine. What's this trade we got here? Uh, Robin Lopez in the 18th or, or 2018 second round draft pick for Ryan Anderson. Hell no, baby. Because Robin Lopez, you got <laughs> you had like a $50 million contract. No way in God's name will I ever do that. Nope. I already got rid of uh, Omir Sheik. Okay, we sold out 23 games. They were also on a, we were on a six-game win streak. We just lost a game, so never mind about that. <laughs> wow. Robin Lopez, that was not... Wait, 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 what's this? Anthony Davis is now fully recovered from his injury. Torn calf muscle. Thank the Lords. Thank the Lords. All right, we're going to do it this way. Have CPU rebuild. By the way, guys, this might be an extra long Sunday... Super special thing because I got a lot going on here. Lou Williams for Ryan Harrison. That's actually not a bad trade, but we are we're pretty good set at guard. We're like I said, we already got Swaggy P not being able to play enough, so we're gonna decline that. Uh, one second here though, man. We're, we're level ten. Another upgrade. Another upgrade. So film study uh, plus one offensive defensive awareness for all players. I like that. One more ring. Convince players to not retire with a promise of an improved roster and a championship ring. You know, if players are going to retire, chances are they're old anyway. Unless you're like a Tim Duncan, perhaps a Ray Allen. If you're retired, it's, it's your time to go. Like, you're just not probably not going to be that good anymore. Um, hear me out. Talk to a player that won't talk to you because he was mad at other offers. That could be useful. Improve Scott by 2%. Uh, convince the players to take a hometown discount. Increase team chemistry by 30 clear eyes full hearts i kind of like that one too that's probably the answer to my question earlier um let's go ahead and ah uh, i like the plus one defense offense the defensive awareness that helps everybody out we gotta go with that definitely gotta go with that all right what do we got here i'm trying to back out so i can go and do my rotation real quick here well i'll let you know that the trade line's coming up okay um Stop, stop simulation. Okay, guys. So, actually, uh, this episode's already going pretty long here. Um, next episode, I think we're going to finish up the simulations here because we still got a lot more to do. And I, there's a lot more stuff I want to go over with. So, I don't want to rush anything for too much. We did sim a lot of games. I mean, we simmed 1, 2, 3, 4, 70, 80, 90 games this episode. So, uh, you know, we won uh, 73,000 of them. Um, we're currently at 23 and 25, though. So, that was actually a good little span right there. I mean, we lost to the Grizzlies, I think. And, uh... Yeah, so we actually did, okay, yeah, Lakers was the last game we played, so we were on a three-game losing streak, and then we won, uh, like, six games straight, and then we lost another one, and we won another one against the Spurs, so let's go ahead and finish up this episode with going over the lineup, make sure that's all good to go, make sure our rotation's looking extra crispy out there, and, uh, okay, so one decision we gotta make is, of course, Ryan Anderson's back on the bench, because he, I'm gonna say, this guy, man, is there a way to, like, check out his stats for the last few games? I don't know if there is, um, by month... Let's see here. So, pretty much for the month of December, November is when Anthony Davis was out. And he stepped up. No, no, no. It was, uh, I don't remember. I don't remember, okay? I don't, I don't, I don't know things. I don't know anything about anything ever. But anyway. <laughs> so, Turkaloo's not going to play much anymore. Man, Swaggy P, he's just pissed. I, you guys, I'm going to be quite honest. I'm probably going to swing him at the trade deadline for some draft picks. I know a lot of people like Swaggy P out there. Um, but you guys that do like him, you should be like, that's a good move, Crispy, because I like the guy. You're not playing him. You don't really fit him in your rotation at all. And I don't. I really don't have any room for him, so I don't really want to keep him on the team here. Um, so I'll probably try to package him and probably Pachulia 
maybe for some draft picks because with Ryan Anderson back as our uh, backup power forward, this now leaves room for a guy like Kevin Serafin, who I really like playing now, uh, to come back and do things for us. So this line is looking pretty good. Uh, next episode, like I said, we'll probably simulate the rest of the games here, get ready for the all-star break. Uh, then after that, probably trade deadline. Oh, you know, the series is going good, guys. I'm really enjoying this. This is definitely the most episodes I've made so far for my GM series. A lot of my older subscribers kind of tuned to that. But anyway, 23 and 25. We're ninth in the conference. Come All-Star break, we're going to make some moves. We're going to get ourselves in playoff contention. And we are going to hopefully compete for a championship. All right, my friends. Peace out.